How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla. Today we're gonna take a look at Brawlhalla's most played legends. As you can see here according to this website, Brawlmance, Mordex, Nyx, Orion, and Artemis are the most played legends in Brawlhalla. I'm actually not surprised, I probably could have guessed that. Um, but look at the highest win rate. Olgrim! Scarlet, Taros, Orion. Not surprised by Scarlet and Taros, they're both overpowered, they both have Axe. Axe is broken. Actually, Ulgrim does well. We have Orion here, just randomly. I think probably just because he has a high play rate, he's also in there. But notice how Mordex and Nyx and Artemis do not have as high of win rate. Anyways, we're going to play the, high, the what is it, the most played Legends in Brawlhalla in some 1v1s. All right. Why? I just want to see, you know, what the hype is about. We have Mordex here. I'm also trying to get him to level 25. Uh, he's level 24, which means I'm super, super close to level 25. I only have like maybe a few more hours of grinding, maybe even less, and I'll be 25 with Mordex, which I can't wait. Nyx, I already have black. Orion and Artemis, I already have black. So out of the mo out of the four top played, Mordex is the only one I don't have black. So, all right, going against Mirage. Apocalypse Mirage, one of the coolest skins in the game for sure. They need more animated skins. This game would be so much better if like every skin was animated, not just like three of them. That was risky. Got him though. Man, I should not have been playing on the edge. I'm not confident on the edge with Scythe like I used to be. And the DC? Are you kidding me, dude? I didn't even do anything that was considered bad manners, I wouldn't think. Oh wait, he's back. Nope, it's an android. Wow. Maybe he was salty because I didn't let him get the weapon on the second stock, but that's the only thing I can think of. And honestly, that's not considered bad manners by anyone, in my opinion. Like, most people, th th you're lucky if they let you get the weapon on the first stock, which is what I do. I consider it bad manners if, if uh, like at the beginning of the match, I always salute and I'll let the enemy get the first weapon usually, or if I grab the first weapon, I'll, uh, I'll let them get a weapon. But I consider it rude if I salute, I let them get the weapon, and then instead of letting get me get a weapon, they just attack me right away. Um, but that's just my own personal code of ethics I live by. I'm not trying to tell anybody else how to play the game. <clears throat> but I do think it's rude if you don't at least let, you know, both of you get a weapon at the beginning of the match. After the beginning of the match, it's free it's free game though. You you want a weapon starve. It's it's just part of the game. Alright, going against Alex and playing as Jiro. I swear I've played this guy recently. Like, I'm pretty sure I played him very recently. All right, he's got good scythe movement. If I remember correctly, this is a guy that loves to spam the uh, scythe down sig. I think he was doing that to me not that long ago. If I'm not mistaken, he he was also playing Jiro. Oh my gosh, my weapon throw saved me. Bro, this isn't looking good for me. 
He's got good edge guarding. Alright, he let me get back. Sick. <laughs> he was doing good edge guarding. Edge guarding is also just part of the game, guys. Don't be salty if you're getting edge guarded. Ow. Hold that. No. Ooh. I actually really like Jiro. I like his sigs. A lot of people don't play him. I don't know why. He's 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 really cool in my opinion. Oh yeah, baby, I got the read. Yeah, Scythe Ground Pound is stupidly broken. Scythe as in and of itself is not broken though. Just just the ground pound is a little bit OP. But I feel like a lot of weapons have OP ground pounds. Fishing for the ground for the uh, down air a little bit too much. Wow. All right, paid off I guess. Normally I don't like fishing for the uh, scythe down air too much. You become predictable. I find myself falling into that category quite often. All right, gonna gonna play uh, Nyx. I I don't think it's a coincidence that three of the top four legends are scythe users. People think that scythe is such a cool weapon, and it is. It is a cool weapon. It's just not that. Like, you have to really practice for it to be, for you to be really good with it. You need to be able to do lots of strings. There's many other weapons that you don't need any skill to be good with, like Axe. Wow, speak of the devil. But Axe is a weapon that you just keep spamming light attacks and ground pounds and recoveries, and you're just gonna do well. Scythe, not so much. I don't know why it is exactly, but it is that way. See, I let him get the weapon. He's got honor. Oh, I hit him all the way over there. Alright, there we go. Not the, like, cleanest combos I could do, but not terrible. Oh, I tried to do side air. I did down air and I thought I got it off it even made the sound but he uh, he did oh, see he's trying to let me have the weapon the second stock I'm not I'm not one to uh, just automatically go for the weapon if I see you open I'm going to uh, attack That was funny, dude. You gotta admit. Wrong way, Lucian.
Uh, he went deep for that one, a little too deep. GG though, dude, GG. Mm, I didn't play that well with Nyx, but decent enough that we'll, we'll continue on. So Nyx was the second most played legend in Brawlhalla. Orion is the third. Uh, what's a skin you don't see with Orion too often? That one's so ugly, I don't know why people even get that one. I don't know why I got it. Uh, you don't see Dark Age Orion too often, I bet. I have every color with Orion. Let's do super white. Super white Dark Age, huh? But I don't like the Lance. Let's, uh, I'm gonna... I like the Lion's Pride. That one just looks so good to me. Uh, this one looks good too, but... Where's the Lion's Pride? Uh, this one. I love how this one looks. And then for a spear, we're gonna change that too. His, his weapons don't look good on this skin. Ugh. The ski pole. That one's just super pointy. Uh, let's do... Um... Try to find one that looks pretty dope. This one actually goes with the skin pretty well. Because he's he looks like he's wearing some medieval armor. And this one is like a medieval pole armor or something. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, by the way, wherever you guys might be. I definitely am feeling kind of tired and sick, but other than that, I feel great. I mean, I'm having a good day other than that. Alright, going against the Mordex. What a surprise. Most overplayed legend in Brahalla. Three, two, one, brawl! Let's do it, boy. This guy's gonna get destroyed because he keeps attacking the same way. That is to say, with side lights. When you attack with side lights with gauntlets, it leaves you open to counter if people know what they're looking for. Rage quit. All right, so we made somebody rage quit with Mordex, and then once with uh, Orion. Once he once he figured out he wasn't gonna win, he just didn't want to play anymore. Hmm. I don't I don't understand the mindset. You're never gonna win. You're never gonna get much better if you're rage quitting. Get your butt kicked, and then watch the replay so you can see how to improve. You know. And then you'll get better, and then you'll win more games, and then you won't want to rage quit. Because you'd be winning more, you know? Don't know how that grabs, but it does. Alright. Kind of a lame match, but... We're gonna go to Artemis. One of my favorite legends. We're gonna do Iron Lady Artemis. And we're gonna do... Mm, haunting Colors. Artemis. In honor of my profile picture that... I use in Discord. That... Uh, Somebody made for me, drew drew me the picture for free. I really appreciate that. Going against Dom JH15. Ooh, here we go. This is a diamond. Three, two, one. Loving my new PC, by the way. It's fantastic. So fast. The M M2 memory or M2 hard drive or whatever is so good. Ow, that was stupid of me to charge that. Oh my gosh, I should have just released that recovery right away. Beautiful hammer throw, though. Has such a big hitbox, though. It's hard not to, like, hit with that. All 
Alright, yeah, this guy's definitely good. I'm gonna have to try a little bit. Oh, the scythe looks sick on this, doesn't it? Wow, I came up to do a neutral light and he was already doing a neutral light. He still got that second stock off first, but at least I evened it up a little bit. Got him to red health. That helps. There we go. I don't know. I thought I would do better with Lance, but I seem to not be doing that great with Lance. So let's try Sight. Get wrecked, boy! Get wrecked! Two GG, dude. That comeback was sick. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys the current top four most played legends just for your own uh, thinking and see what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you think of these four top legends. Are they worthy of being the four most played? Why are they the four most played? I mean, these are these are good questions to ask. And then the, the highest win rate legends, all three... Of the top three are axe i'm sorry scarlet is not an axe i'm so stupid why did i say scarlet had an axe at the beginning wow people are going to give me so much crap for that in the comments i bet either way olgram is axe taros is axe scarlet is hammer and lance which i mean scarlet's just broken in general she always has been uh because of her sigs and her her having hammer and lance in and of itself is kind of broken two two very good weapons orion is not broken. I'm actually surprised Orion is in the top four. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Lance is kind of OP. Spear is really good, but I don't know, man. I, th I still think Axe and Bow are really good. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.